What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today guys I want to discuss the course air bounties upon the Dreaming City and bring you all you need to know about these little evasive bastards and how they are obtained but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so i am seeing many people complaining all over social media about the corsair bounties these badge bounties from the corsair i mean you get loads of them when you don't want them but when you need them they are nowhere to be seen. Now what these Corsair badge bounties are needed for are the Truth Exotic Rocket Launcher quest line. You need one to progress further into this quest. Now I never agree on an exotic quest line or a step to an exotic quest line being based on RNG and that's the case with this one. I am seeing many people complaining they are farm for hours and not had a single Corsair badge bounty drop. I have had friends farming all night and not had one drop. Yet for other people they literally drop in 5 minutes like for me and I don't mean to be big headed. So what's happening here? Are these bugged for certain people or do they just have really bad RNG? Now if they were bugged, no doubt Bungie would have tweeted out like they did with Werner's bounties at first as these weren't rewarding powerful gear. I mean yes, cheers Bungie. Fix this when I've already completed all mine, but it's okay I will take 10,000 Imperials for compensation for my loss, bastards. But yeah, if these Corsair bounties were bugged, I'd expect Bungie to tweet out about them due to the fact they are a main part of a new exotic quest which dropped yesterday. I mean they could be investigating an issue and not mentioned anything yet, just stay tuned to Bungie Help over on Twitter. Now upon me recording this video and travelling about the Dreaming City, I'm seeing many many people farming ads looking for one of these with no luck. So today I bring you all you need to know about how these are obtained so you can progress further with your truth quest line. So a little more about these bounties. These were part of a series of bounties that end with a mini boss kill and reward a piece of non-powerful Dreaming City gear. You can obtain one badge a day, only one badge a day, but if you miss a day, you can earn double the next. So we'll say if you wait until the day before reset, you can earn seven in a day, but only hold one at a time. Does that make sense to you? I'm pretty sure it does. The badges once obtained hint at where you should go next and you're looking for a body of a downed Corsair and these can be at several points within a Dreaming City. Okay so with that simple information out of the way, firstly guys the basics. You can only hold one at a time like I said so double check your pursuits tab, you don't have one of these hiding anywhere. Okay so you don't have one already. Well, they only drop from killing scorn on the Dreaming City, and as far as I know, they don't drop in Lost Sectors for some reason. So trying to farm the Bay of Drowned Wishes up on the Dreaming City probably won't help. Also, I ain't too sure if they drop from the Blind Well either. I mean, I could be wrong here, but I don't recall ever having one drop here. The best place, in my opinion, to farm scorn for these Corsair badge bounties is within the Strand area in the Dreaming City. We'll take this area, killing the scorn as they spawn, and also keep an eye out for the public event which spawns in here. Also, plenty of scorn here to eliminate people, and this is where I got mine from, and all three of my characters. So this is definitely the best place for you to farm. Now in all honesty people, it shouldn't be taking you hours to find these things as they are relatively common. In fact, more common than blue engrams. So they could be bugged. Now common instances I'm seeing people stating how these might be bugged are as follows. Not landing the final blow on the last stage enemy of the bounty as you are doing it with teammates. This can bug the bounty out and not allow further badges to drop. So when you get to the stage of having to locate a down course air and a boss spawns, do this solo so you 100% land the final blow on this boss. Also guys, if in the past you have let the Corsair Bane step of the quest expire in your inventory, people are saying this further stops badges spawning on that character. So it does seem as though people are experiencing bugs with this part of the quest. And while the only way to solve said bugs, if that's what's happening here people, is to start this truth quest on another character. I mean yes, I know that blows, but at the moment until Bungie confirm a bug is happening, this is your only option at the moment of getting that truth quest done, if you can't get one of these Corsair badge bounties to drop. 
It sucks, but it's destiny, people. No pun intended. So yeah, guys, just a little guide on these annoying-ass Corsair badge bounties. I hope this video helps you out. I really do, and I hope you get what you are looking for. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.